Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of some Sim City. As always, I'm your host, the future game dev. I think I've been watching a little bit, uh, a little too much of Beat Up Low. I just used his intro instead of mine. But anyway, guys, welcome. It seems like uh, this series has actually taken off. Uh, this week's episode has, or last week's episode has more views than the first one, so looks like you guys actually like the series and want it. Our first apartment block has finished being built, and it looks like we're ready to get some people in it, so hopefully they'll move in soon, and our population is going to go up fast. This city is going to get big, and I'm not even going to know what to do with myself. But I think the plan for today is to get some gambling going. <laughs> I laugh every time I think about it. I, I'm, I've never been a gambler. I don't even know why, but I, I think I think we're gonna be. Oops. I hope I don't make a habit of that. But I, we are going to start some casinos. So let's see. Here they are. Gambling. Um, uh, I don't know. I've, I've never really done this before, so I'm gonna say guide me. Um, just so I don't miss anything. Uh, couldn't hurt. So let's see. Hello. We got somebody already. Jack Siancy, maybe? Jack Chance. I'll call him that. Uh, Modest Fortune. Chan Motel is ready to go all in. Let's talk casinos. Okay. Let's talk. Plop of a gambling house. That's where I... Wait. Yeah, where is a good spot for the casinos? It's pretty... Si <laughs> City specialization. Gambling. Tourist attractions. Okay, so there's not really anywhere that's good for uh, for tourist attractions right now. Close that. If you want to plop the casino along a wide road, popular casinos can cause traffic jam. Wait, you'll want to plop it along a wide road popular okay so I want to pop it on a big road I think this actually looks like a good spot right here right across from the town hall um, although this intersection might make a problem uh, is there anywhere else that might work oh whoa okay land value just went up so this isn't a low wealth apartment anymore I gotta focus okay I think right here will be just fine. Um, right. Uh, I want to make sure there's room for the uh, for the apartment store. Right there. That looks good. We are at Casino Town now. All right. So let's get some uh, extra stuff going. We need a sign, and we will put the sign right right on the inside of town. So you drive in, you see the sign for it, and there it is. Perfect. We also need some apartments so people can stay here. And then we also need uh, some different attractions to get them to spend all their money. So, whoa. Apparently, we don't have much money. So let's let that uh, run for a bit. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna need some workers. I know we got some apartments coming in soon. Oh, we need to upgrade the roads. Because these are low density roads. If we upgrade them, we can get some bigger houses on them. I forgot about that. And now we're out of money. All right, so we'll just wait for these to grow big and strong. Uh, are the ones over here, are you guys ready? <laughs> Almost. So most of you guys are. So this will get our medium wealthers up and going. Not enough room to increase density. Well, that's sad, but we'll get there. All right, are you running yet? You are running, but we're not getting many tourists yet, so we're kind of running at a loss. Uh, but we'll get there. How does it look, though? Let's, let's get in tight. Hello. Got some security guys going around. 
doing the rounds, looking for souvenirs. Yeah, they want to gamble all day. Not a single hotel to stay at. Guess I'll go home. That's why we need to add these hotels in the back so they can stay there overnight and make all kinds of money. But to do that, we also need to upgrade the roads. One, so we can handle the traffic, and two, so we can get more workers in. So I'll probably upgrade the roads over here in a little bit, but hi, this casino is breeding more crime. So that's the other thing we have to worry about. We have to make sure that this police station can handle all the crime that's going to come in. Man, I didn't put in a sign. You need to know it's a police department. Get a flag too. Something to do every morning. Um, when I get some money, I'm going to add uh, another squad car. Well, let's get some cheap rooms in. And then I'm going to go just a little bit longer and then add some fancy rooms on top of that. And you can see we're already making money now. It's already, oops, <laughs> already profitable. Oh, we need more power. Apparently casinos, oh, and the bigger apartments, they use more power now. So right now we're running off wind. Which is not the best, but you know it's enough. It gets it gets you started, and it's not uh, gross, polluting coal or anything like that. So I think just another another small turbine will do for now, and we'll just pop it in right there. Let's see how that does. Give it a second to kick in. Yeah, I wish you had a power amplifier too. Okay, we could probably use another one. But I need a little bit more money. But this will at least get the power going to the rest of the city. And then... And then we can at least <laughs> keep the people in their apartments and keep the gamblers gambling. We want the money. This is going to be money central. Oh, oh, we got a fire. Bank's on fire, the penny pincher. Put the penny pinch put the penny pincher out. <laughs> I love the names for the buildings. They're the best. Alright, we got a little bit more money. Let's add another turbine. Right. Yeah. There we go. That should do. How's our water? Water's good. Our poop be flowing. Garbage? Are we good on that? We're still getting all the garbage. Fires, police, health. I think we're all good on that. Getting more fires. I really need to get education going. Because uh, then once these people are smarter, they'll they'll burn their houses down less. Alright, so. Wait, what is this? High tourist demand. Okay. Have 80 gamblers visit the gambling house. Okay, so we need to get a few more people in. You hear that rock music? Those are... Let's slow this down and see if we can find a criminal. Any criminals? No. But these are guys riding around in sports cars like gangbangers or something. I wish I could see one. Because they're pretty funny to look at. Oh well. We got a little bit more money, so let's get those fancy rooms in. Uh, oh, they're nice rooms. Okay. Pop that in right there. So now they can stay in the back. Man, I know they're close. That music's gonna drive me crazy until I can find them. Alright, we're starting to get... We're starting to get money now. We're making... 13 grand a day. And that's going up fast. Oh. We got the 80 gamblers. So that means... We get an extra thousand dollars. So, we can add, we can either up the capacity or up the attraction. And I would rather up the attraction, get more people coming in, um, and then I can have, because I know I've got, back here, I've added the, uh, the capacity. People will stay in these rooms. So, that's already covered. And then we use the comedy club and the lounge to get more people to come in. More people that gamble, more money. And I, I think that's what I'm going to do for now. 
I've never really, I've never messed with this a lot. I messed with it just enough, just enough to know it makes a lot of money. Oh, we got a water problem. Water is polluted. Let's look at the ground pollution. Oh, because it's right in next to Squeaky Donuts. <laughs> okay, so it's in with all the industry. Oh man, is the, is the water polluted? All right, so let's move. We need, all right, move the water over there. Knock this one out because that's polluted, that's gross. Whoa, don't get rid of the garbage dump. All right, and then we should get a new, uh, a new factory in there too, right? Can I zone that? Yeah. Okay, so now we got room for another factory and the, uh, the water should get cleaner. All right, so what do you want? It's time to establish an HQ. Once we make enough money for these, uh, set up shop. All right, so we'll eventually need a gambling HQ. And then you want to, okay, they're, they're starting to protest that there's no education now. They're getting angry. So I think, stop the blackouts. How's our power? Still bad. Mm. How well can I go with wind power? Can I I've got room for another one. And then pretty soon I'm going to have to start expanding. Alright. How's the crime? <laughs> we're starting to get... <laughs> we're, we're catching criminals. But there's, there's starting to be more of them. So we got to worry about that. We're also getting more people. How's the uh, demand for jobs? We have unemployed people. So we could use some jobs. And I think we can get jobs by, what was I about to do? Education. The school's gonna need people to work it, but I don't have enough money. So we need another 10,000, but look at how much money we're making. We're making 2,200 an hour. We were making about what, 500 when we started the episode? So already that gambling house just dumped the water out. Look at that. So already we're making tons of money. Tons and tons of money. So we'll be able to get that, uh, that school up uh, really, really fast, actually. So, and, and look at this. We've got so much land out there that we can still use. This is crazy. How's the gambling house doing? How much money are we making? 10 grand a day. 11 grand a day. That's crazy. And now they're saying I spent all my money, but I had a blast. We got some sick people over here. But, you know, I don't care. They'll be alright. They'll live. No money, no job. Stealing is the only answer left. Well, good luck when I arrest you. How's the, uh, how are the jail cells doing? I want to make sure they don't get full. There it is. I lost my police station. Alright, we got 5 out of 10. Oh! Yeah. We got 5 out of 10. How much does that cost? About as much as the school. So when that gets full, we will add another jail cell. I think school can go right here. Because there's really no other spot for it. Then we need to add some bus stops. Make sure we get all the kids. Right here and there. I think this should cover most of them. Pick up some here and there. And one more there. Yeah, I think we're getting just about everybody. One more there. All right. And then school's going to be tomorrow. What is your capacity? You can hold 150. We have 426 students. So we're going to need to add some classrooms, which cost 10 grand. Kind of expensive, but you want to make sure everybody's educated. So we'll get to that um, as we get more money. But now that we've got this gambling house in and we've got this money, we're going to have to worry about a few things like crime. So let's look at the police. We're starting to catch criminals. If we look at the crime map, the blue is where the police are catching them. And then the orange, if there's a lot of crime, would be where the criminals are. So you can see as we patrol, we're starting to catch more people. 
But one thing you're really going to see is these gambling houses are going to turn bright orange because there's a lot of there's a lot of guys going in and robbing the place. So we're going to have to get some extra police cars out and make sure that we've got a good grip on this before this becomes a criminal waste bin. So let's add another set of cars just so we can make sure we get everybody. We're going to miss school. Don't worry about that. We're teaching. Kids are learning. You're going to be all right. Okay. So that is a lot of progress we made and already more of the more of the buildings some of the stores are becoming medium sized now so we're starting to uh, deal with these unsatisfied customers because the stores are getting bigger which is great which means more money and you are probably complaining that your classrooms are full that's going to be fine for now <laughs> I can deal with the fact that they're not all educated I can live with it uh, because these are making more money, and as I get more money, then I'll be able to uh, educate them all, get them jobs, get everybody taken care of. 14,000. I missed my calling. <laughs> Not quite. Maybe. Probably. Alright, guys. So, Grassy Roads, game with a glitchy start, is now a booming gambling metropolis. And it's probably also going to get known for its crime. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me out more than you guys know, actually. Um, I'm actually wanting to get to the point where I'm recording, where my recording days are less, but I'm recording more on those days. To where instead of like three days where I record just one episode, take two days and record all three shows on each day and just about double what I'm gonna put out I really want to start putting out more stuff on the channel so if you want to see more stuff uh, one leave a like two if you're new and you're still kinda wondering if you want to see more please give me a subscribe give me a subscribe I'm <laughs> I can't even talk I'm on the quest for 50 we just picked up some new people so welcome to you we are almost at 50 subscribers. I got some big plans coming for when we hit 50, and we're almost there. So, if you want to see what happens when we hit 50, share it with your friends, and hopefully we'll get there within... I'd like to get there this month. That would be amazing. But that's going to do it for this week, guys. So, until next time, unless the internet explodes, I'm the Future Game Dev. You guys take care.